Hi, today's topic is using a TFT and LCD display on your ESP32. I using the ILI 9341 as an example. It's a TFT display with 200 times 320 pixels and display up to 18 bit colors. As the integrated development environment, I using the Arduino IDE and the easiest way to power up your LCD or color displays is using the UCGLib from Oli Kraus. The easiest way to use UCGLib you using the Arduino library manager and download it into your Arduino IDE or just go to GitHub and Oli Kraus and download it from GitHub. But before we dive deeper in the software aspects, let's go to the wiring of our display and the ESP32. First, we connect the ground wiring to the ground of the ESP32, then the 3.3 volt to the VCC pin, then we using the MOSI pin on IO pin 23, then the clock of the SPI bus we using IO pin 18, then the client select pin I use IO pin 5, then the reset connection goes to IO pin 19 and the data and command line goes to IO pin 13, but you can use any IO pin you like. Then I connect the LED or backlight pin to 3.3 volt so it's don't go to any GPIO pin but you can use a GPIO pin if you need to switch out the backlight sometimes maybe for energy saving reasons. Then we use our UART converter to flash and debugging purposes so we connect our receive pin to the transmit pin of our ESP server and the transmit pin to the receive pin so we cross it then we do a ground connection so every digital level has the same ground potential then we connect our enable pin via a resistor to VCC and we can have a switch to ground to do a reset and we also connect GPIO pin 0 via a switch to ground so we can bring the ESP32 to upload mode. Now let's return to our Arduino IDE and to the first example with the UCGLib. I use the Box 3D example. It's the most complicated, but so we can check all the functionality of our display and the ESP32 adoption. So we open the file menu and examples and search for UCGLib and then we use the Box 3D sketch. And the only thing we have to change is our display type and our GPIO pins. So I use the ILI 9341 with software SPI and for the clock I use 18, for data 23, for command and data I use 13, client select goes to 5 and reset to 90, just like our wiring. Then we check our boards on the tool menu. I use the ESP32 development module with 80 megahertz and upload speed 115 200 bout and I use the TTY USB 0 port for UART communication. Then we go to verify or compile and we fail. But that's okay, we have to do some porting in the UCGLib. And now we search on our hard disk, we find an Arduino folder and a folder named libraries and UCGLib and we go to the SRC or source folder and we find a UCGLib.cpp. That's our C++ file and we open it and do some changes. If you want to load my changes, I put it into GitHub so you can download it and use it in your own example. You can find the link to the source files in the description down below. 
So now we can go back to our Arduino IDE and do another compile. And now we only get one warning, but that's okay. All other source code is compiled correctly. So now let's press the flash button and the reset button and bring our device into upload mode and do a upload to our ESP32. And then we do a reset and see the result on our display play. So let's go to the bench and here we have our ESP32 wire to our breadboard and on the breadboard all the connections go to the ILI 9341. And on our display we see the box 3D example with a rotating cube. I've also tried the SPI hardware driver, but it only works slower than the software driver. So maybe in another video, I can show you the hardware connection. But today I only use the software SPI driver. So thanks for watching today and I hope you enjoy the video. And as always, I hope you learned something. And if so, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.